What's going on guys, Nogalea back with some more Zero Striker Gumball 3. Today we are taking on the Stormy Mega Float. Um, I almost want to say this game takes place around Christmas, but that might have been just for that one mission. But so far we got two people on our, um, I guess you'd call it our, our team. But I'm ready to see what this mission got into it. I also added some EX weapons. Not yet, really you'll see. We may be able to take advantage of the rain and approach the target dragon undetected. One slip and we're finished, though. Even a pro swimmer wouldn't be able to survive in these waters. All right, we'll just have to be extra careful. Oh, damn. Did we just act? I was about to say, did we just activate pervade? I think that was pervasion. Um, okay, so enough of me not knowing what the hell I'm talking about. Um, we do got. Active skill, not active skills, uh, passive skills. I was thinking I was talking about Dokkan for a minute, but no, we actually do got active skills. Um, after we've completed every mission, we've got like these, uh, damn, can I, hold up. There we go. All right, yeah, we've got these, um, we've got these, whatchamacallits. Hold up. Oh, okay, so this game works like that now. See, in every Gunvolt game up to this point, literally, that meant instant death. Like, there was no surviving that. So that's actually really cool. That's actually really cool that now it just resets you to the last place you were, uh, check that I don't know I mean you um you know you hardcore gamers out there I don't know if that affects the gameplay for you that much for but for me I welcome it with open arms I'm gonna let them talk oh nothing to do with Use my azure strike on your inner ear to relieve some of that for you. Uh, Watch your step. Thanks, but I think I'll pass. That sounds pretty scary. You know this it does. You know this is still pretty unique as far as like level design, because up to this point I don't think we've had a mission like this. So I'd like to see. You know what I'm saying even if I'm dying, like <clears throat> even if I am dying a lot, this is actually one of the. First missions to include some kind of water, so we are looking absolutely fail. Oh, he just has a lot of health. I'm tripping. I was about to say. You know, GB, I heard that you hated water. I used to. Ever since my final dragon transformation, I've been able to activate my septima underwater. Oh, hmm. so that's why That's right, yeah. No. Just about any skill that would be useful on a mission. I'm quite confident my swimming. Oh my goodness. Come on. That's so boring. Wait, why am I running out of <laughs> Sorry. Talisman? Okay. I oh, I, I don't know. I'm like having a Oh, cuz I'm taking damage. Okay. I was about to say I feel like I'm having a slow moment. I don't feel like I've been uh, missing out on talisman that much this whole game, but up to this point, don't tell me the ball. Hold up! Holy hell! They're actually gonna include a boss in this uh, level design. I love it already. Homie. Damn. I'm about to say, like, they got me all the way at the top. Damn, we immediately lose, like, three of them right off the rip. Getting hit. Or using pervasion, I think that's what it is. Whenever we lose pervasion, we, uh, we lose... Can I brag about, like, her air combo skills? I love it already. Or her air combo ability. 
Like, I'm actually starting to get used to this guy. I haven't played in a couple of days. Ooh, so I'm a little rusty. But I'm, I'm trying to... I'm trying to stay afloat here, y'all. I'm trying to stay afloat and be somewhat expert level. There we go, perfect. You know what I'm saying? I can't I can't display garbage to my people. How we gonna make this jump? There we go. Finally made it to the mega float. I feel like our teamwork has gotten way better. Perfect. My adaptability is second to none. Is it really? Oh, damn. I said I'd just let him talk, but it is what it is. Oh, damn. Oop. Oh, shit. That scared the hell out of me. Uh, we should be able to use that to proceed. We just need to jump before we get thrown off. Oh, okay. Let's see if we can make that jump. Should be able to. Cool. Also, I was talking about the... Um, Man. I was talking about the X weapons earlier, and for the most part, damn, for the most part, it seems uh, like we can actually have, right now I don't have VVs or anything, but I do have, um, no, this actually is BB. I'm tripping. I don't have the new guy, the gamer one. Forgot his name. Going up. Also, make sure you don't catch a cold. Yeah, yeah, I'll be careful. <laughs> I owe ya. Watch your step. Of course, as she's saying, yeah, yeah, I'll be careful. Like, I ruined that dialogue completely by getting her killed. All right, let's see. Uh, yeah, that, that actually uh, helps out a lot. Because, I mean, that'd be the spot that I would, like, reset. And... So it actually works out a tad. Oh, it actually helps out a lot knowing that uh drenched from head to toe. Let's get this over with so I can dry off. Oh, I know. Hey GB, think your Azure striker could dry me off real quick? Is that really any way to treat someone? Anyway. Yeah, it could. Oh, so it can. It's only a two shot. One shot to those. I'm about to say she's actually like mobility wise, she's pretty fun. I do like her. Uh We are not gonna break the shield. Oh damn. There we go, we got behind him. Charge that. Boom. I could tell this warehouse was huge from the outside. We almost got a thousand kudos, which is something I literally did not achieve until I got to this game, so call me a noob or you want. You do much online shopping, kitty? To admit it, but yeah, quite a bit. Oh, yeah. is in the middle of nowhere, so it's basically like my lifeline. You have it pretty tough, huh? Online shopping, I love it. I mean, because they they're really like based on the oh, on the future, but it's not really the future. I don't know how to explain it. Like they're gaming. Oh, if I'm not mistaken. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Look at my platforming skills. It's like I've like I've evolved as a being. I've evolved as a being. Yeah, real really shit. A lot of amazing technology behind it, huh? Sumaragi has this image of being a big evil corporation, but it's hard to deny that this side of the company oh. supports people's lives. I guess that's who they've always been. They've used their repeated oh, thank God. to increase their knowledge and improve our lives. <laughs> now we just need to clean up the mess they made with these primal dragons. I almost got all of them. I've never done that. Uh, I've never gotten all the collectibles in a uh, in a gumbo game. So that actually is a first for everything in this game, huh? I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I got my Evo face on like hell. We'll let him talk. Be careful, you two. All right, so um, I was saying about X weapons. I didn't literally didn't continue um, 
But if we do that, we can get assist items. Isn't that dope? Who's this? Hey, only authorized personnel are allowed here. What's your name and who's your super? I, I do feel like the um, boss design was maybe a tad bit better in the older GB games, but I mean these are supposed to be dragons, so. I heard there was someone out of control here. As for the authorization, I'll get that later. Sumiragi. Say hydrated. Informed of this. Have you no respect for proper business etiquette? Paperwork must be submitted months in advance before any outsiders can be allowed entry. Looks like it's now my job to beat some business sense into you. All right. Will your eyes be able to keep up? Here we go. If you can't submit paperwork in triple H, you can't be trusted in proper society before submission. Inform the recipient by email and then confirm the timeline by phone. That's the most basic of basics. Commit it to heart. Oh, that's right. I forget that we can completely like. We got complete, like, direction control with this character. I'm so used to, like, having so little control over there. Karen's actually a really cool character, though. Gameplay-wise, I really like her. I've said that a lot this episode, but, I mean, it's, it's true. Can't believe this. Paulson, you forcing your subordinate to work unpaid overtime? Think the world-famous Sumidaki was fostering such a toxic work environment? They're talking about a proper work environment right now. What the hell? <laughs> She's just making it worse as they go on. Uh, it makes all the difference. I actually do like the conversation that they're having right now. So far, this is probably my favorite boss. As far as, like, dialogue. Goodness. Uh, oh, okay. It's... That's actually a lot easier than I made it seem. I don't know how I was going to dodge that, but... Uh, did we get a little bit of... Oh, shit. Actually, uh... Do I have... No, this is the only, uh... Image impulse I have. We really don't even need GB, but we'll, we'll use it, I guess. I forget that he can even, you can even control the direction on his um, bullet now, which is absolutely awesome, bro. I don't think y'all understand. Well, y'all probably do, but there's literally levels to, there's so many levels broken with that feat being achieved. So that took us 10 minutes, uh, 13 minutes, yeah. So we gotta be ranked. We are getting a lot better ranks in this game. Okay, so inch and dash, press down twice, and then push R to, re to reload the stance. Also forgot, we got um a move set essentially in this game. I didn't use any of the moves, but we essentially got a move set in this game. So there's way more play styles than I'm delivering for y'all. I'm gonna try it out next episode. I, I gotta remember to at least do it once. Viper, why does he look so familiar? Is he, is he from the first game? Who's this? Oh, okay, so three stars, right? Are some of the best, um, pulses you can get so apollo okay so he was probably guaranteed anyway type of deal that's why he's like a one star viper was probably guaranteed as well but that lola is really good i wonder what she does unless i already have her and Damn i don't it. remember i'm appalled at how much trouble i caused the innocent people of this is that Seto kaiba i apollo 
Sincerely apologize for my actions. To repent All right, you Apollo. For saving me. Cool name. I wish to dedicate like myself to assisting the dragon saviors. Sure, no problem. I hope this is also loud enough for y'all. I, I changed the volume in between games because the Sora's Wrath is so much louder than this game. Oh, we got a fresh face. Come on, another dude. <laughs> Apollo, how about we put you in charge of keeping an Dude's eye the on the personnel? Man of the group. HR seems like a good fit for you. HR, human resource. Good idea, Kirin. You'd have a tough time keeping track of all the new staff by yourself. Mm hmm Most definitely. Very well. In that case, I'd like to fast track some attitude adjustments for the cheeky one. Any Jeez. objections? <laughs> You're talking about me? <laughs> <laughs> Already on your ass. Like ourselves a hard worker. That's good though. Well, for a for a work environment, it's probably good for HR to actually do their job. But Apollo, seeing the way you fight made me want to create a new move of my For those own. not familiar with HR, it's human resources, which is a You have a keen eye, battle priestess. Normally a team what of people. What sort of ability have you been practicing? Makes it to where like if your supervisor ain't handling stuff, like you can go to them and If I press attack as I reload by pressing down okay. twice quickly, I'll turn invisible and dash, getting mm. myself closer to enemies in an instant. That's awesome. I got to remember that though. Um human resources is like they, they they make moves happen like if you got an issue with an, another employee and your supervisor isn't trying to fix it like your boss or whatever apollo would i see have it to where you can if get that this situated came from watching me um yeah that's right was that really his niche like was Maybe that it's not my place to ask but aren't you playing things a bit loose i don't know i do feel the the bosses are a tad bit easier now though yeah, i don't know no way. i think everything through to the point where like I'm really not learning their patterns I'm kind of just going and fighting them which is one thing I did I hated getting getting crushed by bosses but it actually it makes you appreciate the game more to learn their patterns and actually struggle a little bit but regardless that's all we're gonna do this episode if you guys enjoyed stay tuned for more and as always y'all have a good one